Takaks, motivational story of winner of Olympic gold. Karoli Takaks was the first shooter to win two Olympic gold medals in the 25 meter rapid fire pistol event. Both with his left hand after his right hand was seriously injured. Karoli Takaks lost his main shooting hand in a grenade explosion. A year later after disappearing for months, he came back as a champion shooter with his left hand. But it took him another 9 years to win the gold medal. Here is his inspirational journey to the podium. Karoli Takaks had already reached the status of the best pistol shooter in the world around the year 1936. Yet he won the Olympic gold medal only 12 years in 1948. What took the shooter so long to bag the coveted gold medal? The story of Takaks and his journey to the podium is nothing short of inspiring. How Karoli Takaks won the Olympic gold? Karoli Takaks was the part of Hungarian army by the year 1936. He was a renowned pistol shooter and considered the best already. But since he was only a sergeant and not a commission officer, Hungary denied him permission to participate in the Olympics. However, the management lifted the rule soon after the event allowing Takaks to take part in the next Olympics. People vouched for Takaks as the favorite to win the gold in the 1940 Tokyo Olympics. High on hopes and dreams, the marksman practiced relentlessly. In 1938 during his army training, a faulty grenade exploded, blowing away his hopes and dreams. The detonation did not kill him but injured his right hand to the extent and he could not use it ever again. Takaks spent a month in the hospital devastated not just for the loss of his right hand but also the opportunity to win gold at the highest level of the sport. A month after he left the hospital he spent a lot of time alone and maintained a low key profile In the spring of 1939 the Hungarian National Pistol Championship took place when the other shooters saw that Karoli Takaks had arrived they consoled him for his loss and mentioned they were happy to see him show up to view the event To everyone surprise Takak said he was there not expected but participate When the event began everyone expected Takak to make a feeble attempt to pull the trigger with his right hand so that he could quench his emotional thirst for shooting again But when it was Takak's turn the man picked up the pistol with his left hand he fixed shot after shot with his non-dominant hand as the audience watched with their jaw dropped open And what was shocking was every shot hit the bull's eye. Takaks came out as the winner of the event. After his time at the hospital, Takaks had practiced in private. He thought, "Why should I worry about the right hand? I do not have. Let me see what I can do with the left hand I have." That was it. The learning took some practice, but a few months of dedicated effort later, he was back in the game. But his dream of winning the Olympic gold was again shattered. This time because the Olympic Committee cancelled the Olympics of 1940 due to the World War. Takaks though disappointed kept hanging on. He waited for 4 long years hoping to fulfill his incomplete dream in 1944. Unfortunately, the Olympics of 1944 had to be cancelled due to the continued war. But Takaks was not a man who would hang up his shoes. By 1948 Takaks was 38 in the Summer Olympics held in the same year in London he was no longer considered the favorite to win the event Before the event the reigning world champion asked Takaks what was he there for Takaks said he was there to learn to everyone's gold medal but also set the world record in the rapid fire pistol event The previous champion congratulated Takaks by jokingly saying that he had learned enough. Takaks went on to win the gold medal in the same event in 1952 Olympics too. His never-ending earned him a place in the Olympic heroes list of the International Olympic Committee. Karoli Takaks ended his career as the legend who never gave up. Lessons to learn from the story of Karoli: Stop blaming circumstances. 
try with whatever you have great things happens to those who don't stop believing trying learning and being grateful your body does what your mind says and believes winners refuse to give up it is not about how hard you can hit but how much can get hit and keep moving forward if you choose a goal that you enjoy working towards the results will follow sooner or later refusing to say i can't when life pins you down do not succumb to the tap out push yourself kick your way back get up on feet and fight back conclusion of the story is it takes some immense metal and effort to win olympic gold with your non dominant hand takax made history by doing what nobody else had done before he managed to achieve his goal only because of his belief in himself He is considered an Olympic hero for a reason. Remember the inspirational story of Carolee Takacs when you face an uphill battle. The level of success you achieve in life is directly proportional to the size of your dreams. If you dream big, you will win big. If you dream medicor, you will not achieve even that. Think big, dream big, achieve big.